What was that like oh. sharing with family and friends? Hey, we are about to move to South Africa. Um, so for <laughs> yes, <laughs> she said, David, take Sharice. And I want you guys to go outside and walk around the building and pray. She said, and ask this land. Mm -hmm. Cause at one point we were like, okay, God, she said, ask this land to accept you. Wow. If you could, if you would, please walk us through the experience that you all had with Johannesburg Police Department. Well, we're pulling over to the side. Yes. What's up, beautiful people? And welcome to another episode of Don't Keep Up With, Don't Keep, Don't Keep Up With the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't keep up with, don't keep, don't keep up with the Joneses. Don't, don't keep up with the, don't keep up with the Joneses. What's up, beautiful people, to another episode of the Jones Family Channel. It's me, Ricky Jones, and as you can see, I'm not by myself. However, before I introduce them and have them to speak, I just want to say, have you all ever met somebody that as soon as you talked to them, met them, spoke them to them, or even hugged them, you felt like you knew them forever? And ever, ever? Well, this family right here, I came across the Moore family on just a group connection meetup type scenario. And as soon as I hugged them, the jokes began, right? I I'm not going to say the jokes because, you know, I want to make sure we have a great conversation going forward. But it started just then. And, you know, it, I felt like I knew them for some time. I felt like they were my people. And as we converse and conversate today, I feel like they will be yours as well because they have a story. A story to tell, a story to share, and truth be told, I'm even excited because you hear oftentimes scenarios and situations where people just move over to another country, not just South Africa in general, but they move over to another country and it's all peaches and cream or this open to that door and that door open to another and everything was smooth selling. Well, that's not the case for this particular family. And we go make sure we try to squeeze out all the details and the significant points so that even if you're looking to make the move to South Africa or Johannesburg or another country in general, you are aware of the various scenarios that you could come in contact with. Yes. Yeah. They're going to help y'all. But nonetheless, yes. I introduce you to the Mars beautiful people. How y'all doing today? Good. How you doing? And if you, I'm doing great. I, I appreciate that. And if you could just share with the people your names, where you all are from, and uh, how long you been married? Let's, let's start there. Okay. Well, I'm David Moore. This is my wife, Sharice Moore. Mm -hmm. We were coming here from Texas, Fort Hood, Texas. There Before that, we were from Virginia. I'm originally from North Carolina. Okay. I love the sun. Love Sunshine State. Okay. My wife here is from Michigan. Okay. No sun, snow. No, no, no. All <laughs> snow. Trust me. <laughs> right, right, right. And we will be celebrating our 10th year coming up in March. Nice. March what? March 14th. Okay, I was about to say my birthday is March 9th, so you know, when you said March, I got a little excited. <laughs> but other yeah, we, we can celebrate yes, together. We should Let's celebrate together. We will, we will you know, it'll be my 35th yes. birthday, y'all. 10 years yes. of marriage, so fun times, good times at the end of the day. Yes, yes. Now, how long have you all been living now in South Africa? We've been here mm -mm. Oh. two months. Okay, I thought you were about to tell me hours and minutes. <laughs> So we got here on the okay. 19th of November. 19th yes. of November. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Already. Does it seem like it's been two months or does oh, it seem man. like it's been longer? It seems longer. Okay. It seems longer. Okay. We've had a lot to do. Yes. And, and a lot of experiences. Oh, yes. Yes. Uh-huh. Now yes. let's go ahead and get into it, yes. right? Because like I said, you all's move over wasn't smooth, right? It wasn't light. And even before we talk about why you made the move, let's just talk about the obstacles of the move, right? And so where do you all want to start? Let me ask that. Where do you want to start? Okay. Let's start from selling our house. Okay. Let's talk about it. So okay. before making the move, you sold your home and things like that yes. to come over and in coming over. So yes. I know a little bit of the story. Yes. This was y'all dream home. Yes. This was the retirement home. Yes. This was the last home. Yes. The perfect situation. Yes. Perfect scenario. Close to the grandkids. Yes. Close to the yes. kids. And like perfect. Right there. Perfect. It couldn't get no better. That's exactly Could, correct. So talk about it. It was, sold it. The house was amazing. Yes. Um, and in doing so, we came here. We heard from God that we needed to come here. Okay. And uh, we came in May. Okay. To, to visit, visit. To visit. Uh -huh. In 2023. We left here, went home, and put our house on the market the very next 
week. Mm. Yes. And at that time, selling homes we thought would be easy and quick would be back on about October, September, October. Mm -hmm. Very easy. Easy. <laughs> it, should be, it should be easy. It was not easy. It it um it hurt in a lot of ways. We had to sell our cars, mm -hmm. sell everything. Mm -hmm. It took time. We went through three realtors. Different things were happening in the states. In the states, states yes. to sell. Mm -hmm. So that and alone was hard enough yeah. selling our home and selling everything to come with it. Yeah. But we did it. Okay. All right. We okay. made that. That's it. You persevered. We did that. My lord. Mm -hmm. Three realtors. How much time did it take to sell the home through all of that? From May, the uh -huh. end of May till. Literally two days. We closed two days before we flew out. Yes. In November. Yes. Two days. So even with the two days prior to the move, had you already bought your plane tickets and it Please. just so happened to work out yes. to close and all of that right before moving? And originally we were supposed to be flying out in October. Okay. Uh, but some things came up. We had some family emergencies, so we had to push our dates back to November. Yes. So we had a ticket and we I think we heard from you get the insurance. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Yes. For the plane ticket. Yes. So you was able to move it without yes. losing yes. all your money. Uh -huh. Yes. So we just picked a date. Yes. We didn't know what date to pick. We just picked a date. Yes. Thought Boom. the house would have been sold. Mm -hmm. It was not sold. We yep. picked the date. Yeah. Yes. And so we figured we were talking three days before like we're gonna have to push the date back again. Yes. They called and said they want to go ahead and go with the closing. Two days before <laughs> we closed on the day before we left. Wow. Because at one point we were thinking, oh, we're going to need to do a power of attorney. Because we were saying, you know how people are whispering in your ear? Yes. Why are you selling your house? Why don't you just rent it out? Mm -hmm. You know, make that income. Keep mm -hmm. the house. Pass it down. That's not what God told us. Yes. To sell everything. Yes. He said we had um, an Abrahamic mm. assignment. There it yes. is. Go into a foreign land where uh -huh. you have been and I'll take care of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yep. no, I don't want you to say too much. <laughs> I don't want you to say too much, but okay, we'll yeah. tap into that. Okay, I okay. feel like that's a space in itself for people okay. as well that are even learning about faith or yes. wanting to strengthen their faith or wanting to know what operating in faith looks like. So okay. we're going to get there. We're going to get there. Okay. But what I did here, and I want to make sure we all understand and catch are the nuggets, right? And so yes. one of the nuggets that you shared so far is you pick a date yes. that you expected to move over and come over and things like that, but it didn't work out Absolutely. on that date. But thankfully, you all had the insurance on with your flights so yes. that you were able to make the move and maybe pay a little bit more, maybe not, because sometimes you just never know with yes. that, with the moving of your flight. And so, but you weren't at a loss for no. your money, which no, says no. a lot. Yes. And it helps. So, boom, nugget number one. Yes. And so, you sold the home, yes. right, two days before flying over. So in flying over, did you all fly over to the home that you were expecting to move into or what happened? Oh, no. Okay, so again, Upon arrival. <laughs> again, we we knew no one yes. and we didn't have a place. We didn't have a location of where we were going to stay. Okay. We was just flying by the seat of our pants. My Lord. You literally. Know, literally flying. Okay. And we said, we'll get here. We'll find a place. Okay. It'd be just that easy. Yes. You know. We got here, we stayed in a hotel for one week, and uh, we looked around, uh -huh. and we were so determined where we were gonna be, we were too far away from where we needed to be. Mm -hmm. So we knew where we thought we wanted to be, yeah. we went to the other side. Okay. Got another hotel for it. Okay. A little okay. bit longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. A lot of hotels. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we went out, We. We knew the neighborhood we wanted to be in. Yes. Met a great realtor. Okay. She was awesome. Okay. Um, Let me ask you this: How did you find that realtor? After our other two realtors. Uh, uh, so y'all have some with the threes. Yeah, we right? have three realtors. Yeah. Some about these threes, three yes. realtors in here. Texas. Three realtors, exactly. To sell the home, exactly. and then you moved on over a whole three. other continent, a whole other country. Uh, another. Yes. And it your took third. Three to get a yes. Yes. It took three. It took yes. three. It took three. To find one place. It did. To find the place. To find the place. place. Yes. Okay. Yes. So the first realtor, um, we went in, found the home. It was fully furnished, what we thought was okay. was perfect for yes. us. Yes. And um, at that time, we were all set to move in on Friday. Okay. We get the call on Thursday, and she decided she wasn't prepared to leave. The owner of the home. The owner of yes. the home. Okay. And we had put a, de a deposit, deposit down. Right, right, right. So, we're stuck. We're back in the hotel. We're, we've already checked out 
because we were leaving the next day. Yes. So then we have, what, two more weeks mm. of looking yep. in looking. the same hotel. So in the same neighborhood, we find another home. Okay. Second realtor. Okay. Excited. You'll move in Friday. Okay. Again, another Friday. Another Friday. Yes. Good, yes. Come another on. Friday. Good Friday. Yes, we just excited. <laughs> we're packing up our yes. stuff. We are out of yes. here. Hotel living was nice, but three, four weeks, I'm tired. It was enough. It was enough. Mm -hmm. Get to the bottom of that. Yes. Same thing happens. They pulled out. They pulled out again. Okay. And this was another situation for us. Right. Same neighborhood we thought we were supposed to be in. Okay. We go home and we're thinking about it. We gotta re get another room for another two weeks. Wow. Um, yeah. the, the good thing about that, we were able to stay in our same room. We didn't have to keep right. changing rooms. That was the great thing about right. it all. And at the same time, you're in a hotel, so it's not like this big space or right. this big place. Oh my gosh. Whereas when, you all had luggage. It's two of you all, and then you move from a home, yes. right? And so That's even lovely. just yes. go ahead. it was our third hotel. Like you said, we had some oh. about three. Come on, yes. When we first got here, the hotel that we first checked into, yes, did not properly represent themselves as it from should. what it should uh -huh. from what we saw online. Okay, because they said they were going to upgrade us a VIP room yes. at this particular hotel. Yes. We got there, we went in the room, it was like... It was too small. The letters was backwards. Yeah. It was, it was a beautiful, beautiful hotel. <laughs> it was VIP. It was beautiful. Yes. It was just too small with all okay. the stuff we had. It was yes. like, this is not going to work for a week. Yes. It was just too much. It, it wasn't going to work for us. Right. So fortunately, we were found, found a hotel literally about 200 feet away. Oh, so you all had to change hotels. Yes. yes. With the luggage. Yes. Yes. Without having a vehicle. Yes. Literally, we, we had to walk each... Across on the, the courts street. going back and yes forth. there it is see it just yeah. your story just i didn't even know that part <laughs> but your story <laughs> keeps building okay so y'all yes. walk over to, to the, the second, second hotel, hotel. yes we're there the and i'm like trying to get the, the rate and everything what size rooms do you have do you have your suites available yes and they got us in a room it wasn't a suite it was just a larger room than what we had before okay and the thing about me is i'm like okay i got my wife here yes i gotta get her secure and settled someplace i understand Cause you know, like you see, if mom's not happy, ain't nobody happy. Nobody happy. And in like, another country. In another country. So <laughs> crying every day, missing ooh, everybody. Oh, oh, yeah. And I'm like, okay, baby, I got it. Uh, I got it. Uh -huh. So we get in the second hotel, slightly larger room. Mm. I go and pay everything. I'm like, come on, babe, let's come up to the new room. We get there, like I said, it's just slightly larger. Yes. And it's only for a few days. They can't extend the period. Uh, but we don't know how long we need it. Correct. You still don't have a place. Yeah. yeah. At this time. No, we do not. So once that second house fell through, we moved to a third hotel that we found, which was a little bit closer to the area where we wanted to be in. Okay. That's where I was able to get us a suite, okay. with a room, and okay. a separate living space. Yes. Something that felt a little bit more like home. Mm. Yes. And that gave us time and the ability to have our stuff set out. But we had an area where we could go to the think and just relax. Yeah. And yeah. get your mind and get acclimated to the area. Yes. And it had a beautiful poolside view. Okay. So the people were amazing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So that, so that All along, every step of the way, oh. every hotel, every, they did everything they could for us. Mm -hmm. They were, they've been amazing. Yes. Yeah. The people here are amazing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's something. And we That's say amazing. it time and time again, you know, video you after video. The people are beautiful. They the people are. are helpful. The people are accommodating. They are. Loving and caring. But you was about to say something about you, them. You can't believe the people until you see them. Yes. It's not what you think. Correct. It's Correct. Because we can say it, right? And yeah. we're saying it based off experience, yes. not just saying it. But it's to your point. It's not until you experience it yourself, yes. until you realize, right. oh, wow. They right. are different than they what are. I'm used to experiencing. When we had one hotel, literally, they had the carts. From the other hotel and they walked us to yes. our hotel wow. walk in with their carts to put our <laughs> luggage on the carts and walk it back across the street yes amazing. that's unheard of it, it was it was amazing yeah. no 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 you don't, you don't get that no no, no, no no you call a cab for you in america that's you you, you would not correct you're going down the street okay well, okay mind you because right. i mean they look at oh, that's their business now right yes. that's right what are you about to say? mind you we've been in ubers the whole time, and yeah. every Uber driver yes. 
has been over backwards for us. Wow. They just, they get in, they speak to us. You know, it's just been amazing. Yeah. yeah as far as the people. Yes. I'm, I feel at home mm -hmm. because of the people. Oh, yes. yeah. Oh, no, no. I get it. You I know, get it and I know the it. The people. And, you know, we want it for all. Yes, you do. Even considering oh coming over and looking over and even specifically yes. to South Africans as well that even sees the videos. Know that you all are some special yes. people. Oh, my and gosh. as you travel or come in contact with others around the world, you realize, no, there's something different about it them. Is. But something special about us, yes. right? But at the end of the day, we can all learn from them. Now, yes. you did say that, you know, you wanted to make sure things were accommodating for your wife. And you were saying you were crying daily, right? And so, uh, man, so even with that, how would you, if you had the ability to help somebody that could come over in the situation that you all we're in, right? Like, how would you even speak to that person as it pertains to having a space or having a place to move into? Like, what would you suggest based off of what you went through? Because that's a nugget in itself, right? It is. Uh, it is. Because, you know, that was unique um, yes. to come over not knowing where, but knowing that you will. Yes. But then three relatives later, yes, I am now making a move. So, well, we've heard of some people that were able to get accommodations like them before they arrived. Yes. But then you gotta know, well, am I gonna be here for a year, two years, five months? Yeah. I want an apartment, a home. Mm -hmm. So we've, we figured the safest bet we thought about it would be just to get a hotel for mm -hmm. what we originally said, two weeks. That's so it, that's, that's it. Yeah. We'll be able to find a place by then. Surely. So, <laughs> uh -huh. so I Googled um, some good hotels yes. in the area. Yep. And now I've got rewards with a lot of different hotels. Okay. Sometimes, I picked the wrong <laughs> brand. <laughs> but babe, I got points here. We can stay for free. But uh, we found a good area. Free and always good. Free is, <laughs> free is not always. Free is not always the way to go. Uh -huh. Free is not always. It. <laughs> Sometimes you get Nugget. what you pay for. That's yes. hell. Hello, hello, Nugget. Exactly. So we found a good hotel brand. Okay. Uh, like that on the reservation before we got here for a couple of weeks. Okay. I said, okay, so we'll run with that. Yeah. That's the foundation. Mm -hmm. So at least when we get off the plane, we know where we're going to and where we'll be for a couple of weeks. Yes. yes. So then you can finish game planning from there. Because mm -hmm. if you get on the ground and you don't know where you're going to be staying. Yeah. And uh, it's not like America where you can just go down the street to another hotel, mm -hmm. check the price and check in. Okay. You need to know what area you're going to be in. Yes. Or whatever oh, you good. would like to be in and be comfortable. That's good. Oh, that's good. I would say um, get you a realtor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because realtors here work, they do apartments yes. as well as homes, yeah. renting as well as buying. My thing would say get a realtor yes. first and let them show you the way because we thought we would it would just be easy we've been here before and we would just go we knew the area we have been doing our homework on youtube with the areas but there's nothing like someone who having boots on the ground who knows what to do when to do and how to do it mm -hmm. we did not know mm -hmm. we learned mm -hmm. but i would say get a realtor first come in before you do anything yeah. speak to someone who mm -hmm. can help you along the way there it is there it yes. is and even if you're feeling flustered already know that there's opportunities that have yes. come out of their experiences oh, yes. that we're gonna share so make sure y'all yes. stay locked in and so boom you found the space after the third realtor and you know not to put a dollar amount but in the other spaces you all have put in thousands of dollars yes, American for dollars. deposits and first and last into two spaces and so you have money tied up in two different um, spaces or units yes. or whatever or whatnot yeah. that thankfully you were able to get back but at the same time it's still money gone it's yes. still money yes. sitting it's still money holding right yes because so, it did not come back in a oh, week or two it uh -huh. took took some time yes for it to come back yes, <laughs> yes. and in, in that time you wondered if it's gonna it come back yes. <laughs> right. yes. one realtor reached out to me like you haven't gotten the money back yet oh i know you're losing interest on your money and everything i'm like Yes, we are. And confidence. <laughs> yes. And, and confidence, yes. Exactly. Yes. So. But, okay, boom, you found your spot. And since then, you've now had a vehicle. You have a vehicle now, yes. right? So I'm yes. fast forwarding a little yes. bit yes. because I know some some yes. uh, stories, right? Okay. You have a vehicle now. Yes. And that's the story. So how was the car buying process? And I want to skip over that. Oh, that how was, was that? It was, um, it was almost seamless 
because we had a friend okay. that guided us okay. here in South Africa. Okay. Uh, I heard about some uh, things. Don't. They told us certain brands you do not buy okay. because there's a high chance of them getting hijacked. Yes. Well, was Volkswagen one of them? Volkswagen was yep. one of them. Uh, What's another one? Toyota okay. brands, okay. different models. Right, different models, yeah. Models. Yep. So he took us to a dealership and uh, he didn't just say, go there. Mm -hmm. He took us. He said, went to their house, he said, hop in, I'm going to take you over there. Nice. Took us to a dealership. Um, we were looking for an SUV. Okay. Something safe and sturdy. Yes. And the models, some of the models and brands here are different than what we're used to at home. There it is. But um, that is very true. Y'all ended up with one of them. Yes. Yes, <laughs> yes we did. did. Not having to say the brand. Not having to say the brand. No. But yes. you're right. I, yes. I came here and realized, okay, things are different. Different. Yes, to absolutely. your point, there's different brands and different yes. companies. And then even within the brands that we're used to, the Toyotas yes. and things like that, there are even different models here yes. that aren't back in the States. Yes. And so it's like all of that trying to grasp your mind around. Yes. So how many dealerships did you all find yourselves at before you found the vehicle that you have? We went to okay. one dealership. I was hoping three. You know, I was trying to see the back. <laughs> I was, I was, I was, I was hoping three. three. We did one. <laughs> okay. We did three cars, but we did uh, one. Oh, there it is. <laughs> it's, it's just Wait. like the states. They show you. Oh, what are you looking for? Mm -hmm. Okay, let me show you this top of my line. That's it. Leather. Yes. Of course. Premium model. Of course. Yes. Let's test drive this one. Ooh, I feel in love with this Come one. Come on. It feels good. Yeah, it feels right? good. All the yes. buttons. Yeah. I want to hit this one. Yes. Yeah. Yes, but that's a different topic when we talk about buying and financing. Okay. That's another thing. That's yes. Another thing. I was yes. going to say oh, that good. was something, and yes. I've heard it along the way, yep. about purchasing a car and financing a car. Mm -hmm. um, outright. And I thought, well, we got all the way because the gentleman was... We thought we could just finance. Yes. You have, you know, you have the means. Yeah, correct. You, you should just be able to finance it. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, no. That's good. That's no, another nugget. We were I'm not able to finance the car. Correct. Um, and we thought, well, we came in on the military, and they saw income coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, we came in on a military visa, mm -hmm. and we thought, okay, with the income. We're making, you can see it coming in every yeah, month. We correct. had to show all of our bank statements and everything. We got to the end of the table thinking everything was done, and our bank decided no, they could not finance us. Mm. So, in turn, after waiting two or three days, because you don't take get a buy a car and go home no, with another the same fact. day, nope. that does not fact. happen yep. um, like we're used to where we're from. But we ended up having to pay our car out right. Mm -hmm. for cars. So if you're planning to come or thinking to come, you will want to save and think about how much or look around for a dealership or someone can tell you. Ricky works with a great guy mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that talks about cars and everything. That's so important mm -hmm. is to do your, your study and due diligence yes. Yes. on a car yes. because we, we had no idea that you have to pay out right for a car. Yes. So very true. Now that's not good. Finance. And certain things you forget about because you just go with the flow yes. and do what you yes. have to do. But it is a part. That is a fact. Because yes. we were even looking to finance or lease. Yes. Because we personally love leasing vehicles with the idea you have something new. It's under yeah, warranty. Right. And we had it back in the States. And we had, it was crazy. Oh, yeah. Like tires. Just yes. You don't even think about it. But we had maybe four flat tires over the uh, three years that we had the vehicle. And we were able wow. just to take it in because yes. we had the warranty. <laughs> Okay. Take it in and get it switched. Right. And no problem. Yes. But coming here, leasing wasn't even an option. No. Financing no. wasn't even an option. And some may say, why do you want to finance? Well, I want to keep my, my money. money. Yes. For me. Yes. Right. So I can get the interest or exactly. advance or exactly. put here, Absolutely. put there, and just pay it over time. But even for us as well, we had to buy outright. Yes. So again, another nugget, ladies yes. and gentlemen, like those are different things that you come in contact with while you're on the ground yes. that you don't even think about because um, you don't know. Right. You don't know. Right. But okay. So you don't found your vehicle. Money. Yes. You had to purchase it outright. And how long did it take from the giving just that process of, okay, we want it, the vehicle, we'll send the money over. Hey, you all can come because I know you don't get the same day as no, you said. You do not. You all can come over to get the keys. How long was that for you? Oh, all? that was like about a week and a half. Yes. Yep. It was a week for us. Yes. Put the money in the account mm -hmm. and um, I contacted the dealership. Okay, I've made the, the payment. That's we sent them out. Yep. Okay. Okay, well, we need proof of payment. Uh huh. Yep. Yes. We need to proof see it at our bank, is yes. what our dealership And told then when us. we see it, we need to see it. Yeah. So I send them a picture of something that it says it's been sent from my bank. Yes. Okay, we'll let you know when we've received it. Exactly. Yes. Correct. Correct. Yes. Then, okay, so then they say they've got, they've received the money. I'm saying, yep. okay, good. Mm -hmm. 
okay, well, now we got to prep the vehicle. So it's mm -hmm. still not ready for a few more days. Correct. Yes. And I put the smash and grab on. Okay, yes, yes, the yes. The tent. Correct, correct. Yes. I said, well, how long is that going to take? Okay, that'd be like another day. I said, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we're just waiting patiently. Correct. Until we get that phone call. Yep, because all this time, you all are still Ubering, or have you all rented a vehicle? We, we, we rented. Did rent. okay. okay. We did yeah, rent right. a vehicle. Okay. Um, that so was that was. Too. Yes. Of course. Yes. Why not? <laughs> You know, it's just another you know, step, another exactly. experience. Exactly, it is, and, but it, it has taught us so much. Yes, with patience. Okay, and and perseverance. You got to keep oh, going. Yep. You can't stop. It was days yes, I just yes. didn't want to. I I wanted to stop. Wow. But when I wanted to stop, he was ready to go. When okay. he wanted to stop, I was ready to go. Okay. It's like okay, we got to. We got. Yes, yes, we got to do this together. We can't stop. Or I'm like, I'm not getting up the bed. Mm. He's like, Well, I am. I'm going down. I'm like, I don't. Okay, I'll be dressed <laughs> in a minute. You know. But I tell you, coming here. They don't move as fast as we do in the States. Yes. yes. So pack your patience and just relax. Nice. We've learned to relax and I breathe and I sleep so much better yes. here mm -hmm. than I ever have over there. Wow. And I mean, just let go mm -hmm. and just enjoy the process because once you learn it, they can't take it. From can't. You. Mm -hmm. So once you learn it, just how many people can you help with this process we've learned? Wow. Wow. Yeah. So also write it down. Yes. Because it's something to tell your kids, kids. Yes. Or kids, 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 what you had to go through to get where to where you are. Uh oh. Write it down. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yes. Uh -oh. Make it plain. Uh oh. So you said something that was very, very beautiful and good. Pack your patience. Yes. Ooh. Right. And as we continue to talk, yes. we'll hear how you all had to unpack your patience. <laughs> The scenarios and situations. Yeah. I didn't let him in this day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But I'm going to put you back. Because yeah. <laughs> I know I, I'm going to need you when I, you know, and I need to know where to find you. Yeah. And so, what was the situation, you know, with the rent the car scenario? Like, what happened? <laughs> we were, as y'all opened the suitcase of patients. Yes, go ahead. We were starting, uh, like I said, we've been in a hotel for almost six weeks. Yes, Ooh, at right. this point. Okay. At this point. That's like, um, well, what do we do? We still need to explore the area. Correct. But how do we do that? And after Ubering there, yeah. and then we had one experience with Uber driver. We were trying to get some furniture. Okay. The driver would take us there, but they're not going to wait for you. No, it's not a taxi. No. Or if you want to them to wait for you, they'll wait, but they want you to pay for the whole day's worth of services. Mm -hmm. Yes, so. We're like, we're we got so lucky. Like yes. I didn't even know that. No, yes. yes. They okay. will take you shopping, but you will pay for the whole day. And who determines the day? They, they determine. Do. Okay. So, so did they give you a number? Yes. What was the day rate that he that, that Uber driver quoted you? Oh, I don't recall the exact okay. rate. Okay. But more specifically, we went out about uh, <laughs> 1 p.m. I'm not I'm right. We went out about 1 p.m. Yes. Got an Uber driver, went to go shopping. Yes. He wanted to charge us for a full day. Oh. And he was done at 5. I'm like, but but guy, it's already one. It's half. half. Yes. So you <laughs> have to no, a whole day charge. Okay. Yes. Okay, this this probably is not the one. So that's not the one. Okay. Right. I'm gonna let you go back. Okay. Yes. And I'll get another one. Okay. So, so we went in the car, got online, looked at some real car places. Yeah. Found a good place nearby. Got an agency. Well, reserved the car. Yes. Um, and again, got to keep thinking that we're in South Africa. Yes. So yes. when you rent a car, you know you have deposits and everything. Yeah. From what I was reading online, they want three months bank statements, copy of your driver's license, da da da, da all these things. Yes. For the, to rent a car. To rent a car. To rent a car. But what I found out was, if you're paying with a debit card, they want bank statements, da 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 da, oh, da, da okay. for deposits, da 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 da. Okay. But if you're paying with a credit card, yes. they just need your driver's license, your ID, okay. and your passport. Make sure yes. you have a passport when you go. That is true. That's can good. I, yes. Can I please copy mm -hmm. on that? Passports. They tell you to give, you know, you hear, leave your passports at home. But when you're taking care of business, I don't care what business, the bank, you need your passport. You yes. need your passport more so than you need your driver's license here at mm -hmm. first. Mm -hmm. Because that is everything to them is your passport. Yeah. That's your that's your identification. Yep. That's everything. Yep. So if nothing else, if you're going out and you're just doing some shopping, find a safe place, but keep your passport with you because there's been times we've been stopped. There's just different things where we yeah. never thought we would need our passports and we've needed our passports. Mm -hmm. So keep your passports with you until you get a little more comfortable with the land yeah. because yes, it's okay. very important to have your passport. Because okay. when we're opening accounts, like, you know, open bank account, yeah. they want to see your passport. Yeah. Are you supposed Visa? to be here? Yes. Uh, cell phone, 
Do you have a visa? Because we're not going to give you a visa if you're not supposed to be here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All kinds of different accounts and things you needed. They yes. your passport. Yeah. And so I didn't even know. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I have one more thing about your passport. Make sure when you get here, you check your date that they stamp on your passport. That's because good. again, the Moors had another instance. Uh -huh. where we thought our passport was good. We'll go to the bank, here's our passports. And the lady, she told me, the young lady, she said, I can't give you a passport. You can't, I mean, a bank account. You can't even be on with your husband. I said, why? She said, because your passport expires in the next two, two weeks. weeks yeah. We had only been here one week. Mm -hmm. And we were supposed to, we have a three, I have a three year mm -hmm. passport. Mm -hmm. But because the date was stamped wrong, mm -hmm. they wouldn't do anything. So which means we had to go back to the airport. Yes get an appointment, go through the airport to the embassy for them to go over all our paperwork again mm -hmm. to make sure that our date was right. So in that, we weren't the first people that that no. happened to. Yeah. So please make sure when, before you leave that airport, yeah. you check your date on your passport. Yes, and yes. even with that, what we did, cause you're right, you're not the only ones. What we did was when we went through and as you're about to go through and get your stamp and all that, we told them we had a visa. And yeah. so he was like, oh, oh, and then look for the visa. And then he looked at it and yes. did his thing like that. And so if you are coming over with your visa, maybe you have the three, the five, the whatever yes. uh, amount of time that you have here and not just coming on the tourist visa right. then make sure they see your visa yeah. in your passport yes. and that will help you as well but no y'all yeah nuggets y'all nuggets <laughs> but they've been through enough we to yes. be able to say what you should do what you can look out for yes. and experiences that you don't have to go through because they did yes. and so you made it to the rental car place and all of that, right? So, yeah. were you after you had things worked out? Were you able to leave with a vehicle? We left the vehicle. Day? Okay. Yes. I had just um, took like back home. Okay. Online, fill out. There was a pre-check yeah. in. That if yes. I had known, I okay. did that online on the phone before I got yes. there. Yes. Yes. So that yeah. took a little time. Yeah. Yes. Patience. For the rental car. Patience. Patience. Yes. Patience. And she packed two bags of patience. Huh. <laughs> I, I packed the backpack of patience. Oh, I was wondering. I was about to say. <laughs> so I'm always going in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> but we got a vehicle there. That's good. <laughs> One thing on rental cars, make sure you get, they don't tell you, um, the basic agreement says it covers basic things. Yes. Things that you want to make sure you cover, I read, like the windshields and yes. the tires. Okay. Because tires get scraped up a lot. Yes. Windshields aren't as bad. Right. But that tires you want to check. Because right. if you get there, they walk around. If they find anything new when you turn it in, they're going to charge you. Charge, 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 charge. Okay. Yes. So make sure you get those little insurances. You don't need everything that they offer, but some of the basic stuff you mm -hmm. make sure you get. Mm -hmm. No, that's good. And so yeah. even with me, uh, one thing that I started doing was I only rent with an American Express card because even with them, they give you a level of a car protection when renting okay. a car. So that's a little nugget, yes. if you will. Yes. American Express, they will look out. And that's I awesome. do do the um the one that they give as well with yes, the we rental car them. place because i don't want it to be on my insurance yes. and so you know there's that yes but, um, okay so right. rental car yes yes so we have that uh -huh. we have a vehicle now right yes. I'm, I'm, I'm pulling us so yes. now we have a vehicle uh -huh. and it's a new vehicle right so you have new tax you know what i'm saying <laughs> so we riding around the city because you out here living, right? Yes. You out here getting it and right. enjoying yourself in your SUV. Yes. You did get an SUV. Yes. And some way or another, somehow, some shape, form, or fashion, you end up getting pulled over. Oh, my. We're pulled over to the side. Yes. Shouts out to Joe Board Police. Yes. Because they have a way of meeting you, greeting you, oh, and yes, welcoming you into your new place. You will home. meet them. You will meet them. Yes, I've met them. Crystal yes. has met them. Yes. And the Moors have met them. Yes, we have. All right. So if you could, if you would, please walk us through the experience that you all had with Johannesburg Police Department. Well, we're pulling over to the side. Yes. Jim um, walks up to me, says, looks in the vehicle. See my wife and um, another lady in the back. Mm -hmm. He says, uh, let me talk to you outside, man to man. man. <laughs> the moment he said man to man, I'm thinking to myself, you know, we know what's going on. <laughs> oh, cold drink. I said, <laughs> okay. Uh, cold drink is like when um, the law enforcement mm -hmm. will get you in the situation. Well, I'm not going to say that. Get you, you find yourself in a situation with law enforcement. Yes. Uh, it's not really as bad as what they may make it out to be. Okay. It could be. And to um, sort of soften the deal, mm -hmm. they may say, um, you know, 
It's kind of hot and thirsty. Do you have any cold drink money? Which is a signal to, um, could you slide me something on the side? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we could be done. And we can be done, yes. Okay. So the moment he said, let me talk to you outside, man to man, I'm like, you know, I'm used at home. You get pulled over, you get your license, yeah, da, 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 da. No, he wanted to go outside. So I stepped outside, gave my driver's license, and he talked. And he was trying to explain to me how the paperwork on my temporary uh, plate had expired. Okay. And for the longest time, I didn't understand the point he was trying to make. Because what he said didn't match to what I was seeing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then wow. he was like, um, do, you, do you speak English? Do I need to get your wife? Do you not understand me? I'm like, sir, I speak very good English. <laughs> and this is what you're trying to figure out. Where we going with this? And I'm making what my job to say. Because these are the dates here. Right. And then eventually my wife and I let him get out the car. And to make a long story short, he's like, okay, your license. He couldn't find fault with that. The paperwork. As he explained, and I talked to him, couldn't find fault with that. So then he says, do you have your passport? Mm. Okay. I'm like, no, I don't have my passport. That passport. Yes. But fortunately, my wife had a passport wow. in the car. Okay. So she gave me my passport. He's okay. looking at my passport. Um, this visa date's wrong. That's back in May. I said, yes, sir, that's when we came to visit me. There's more stamps. Go to that. So he tried to find errors in the passport, saying that the embassy doesn't issue this document anymore. I'm like, okay. But to make a long story short, I never said... I'll give you some money, can we just make this go away? Yes. We were adamant, okay, what is the problem? Okay, this can be fixed. Okay, we'll go to the dealership and fix it right now. Oh, no, you can go to the dealership tomorrow. Huh. And he wants to keep talking about it. We're like, no, if there's a way to get it done right now, we'll go and get it done. Correct. I don't want this problem. Right. So after about like what seemed like 10 minutes of discussion back and forth, he was finally like, okay, here's your document, go on your way. Okay. Yes. So don't give in to the code drink money because right. that tends to make the situations worse not better correct and we're that as the Joneses we definitely yeah. the ones that say as well we will not give to the cold drink if there's a ticket to be given yes. we'll take the ticket if there's a repercussion to pay we will pay the yes. repercussion because we want to make sure we stay above board yes. in our actions and, and activities right. yes. and do the right things yeah. here in Joburg because yes. I, we've heard of various scenarios where the cold drink money was given and repercussions were then followed yeah. because you never, it said that you never know who is okay with the bribe, if you will, right. the cold drink money and who's not okay. So to be above board, to do things the right way, we'll take the ticket, uh, we'll take the ticket. <laughs> yes. as we would in the States. Yes. Yes. We'll take the ticket, we'll pay the fine. If we need to go to court, we'll go to court. Yes. Do what we got to do. That's the right, right way. way. We'll do it the right, right way. way. But right. thankfully, in you all's transaction or interaction with the uh, police, you all were given back your property and yeah. on let go. Yes. No ticket. No, no ticket. ticket. Yeah, no me neither. No I ticket. didn't get a ticket. No Crystal didn't get a yeah. ticket. Yeah. No citation. Nothing. Anything. Darnest thing. You know, yes. she, 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 as in my wife, she missed or she missed the uh, asking for the bribe. Like, yes. She that type, if you don't say it straight, <laughs> it won't be heard at all. And so she didn't pay it, but she didn't get a ticket either. Right. I didn't get a ticket either. And, and I was Friday at about five o'clock. Come yes. on. Yes. Friday, yes. Friday. Yes. 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 Come yes. On. yes. What a time. What a time. What a time. <laughs> Which, at the end of the day, yes. we're again sharing, dropping these nuggets for you all so that you're aware and you know what could happen, not to say that it will but well, what could happen and how to even govern yourself in that situation now one thing I do want to ask you because people have asked variously in various ways in the comments what type of license do you have did you come with your American Texas license yes which we did as well yes right because American some people license. were thinking that they had to get I don't know what type of license I don't even know what other license there is out there yes. if there's an international license there, there but, are international okay there is okay yes. cool but we have our Florida license being yes. that we came from Florida you have yes. the Texas license which gives you the ability to still drive here yes so boom shakalaka and you had your passports thankfully yes. at yes. that time and so you're able to continue along the way but we were told by someone that you had to have a South African license to purchase a car okay um, we didn't run into that. We didn't either. We did not. But I don't know. I don't know if she got it from somewhere. Or something. Okay. But she, this person said they had to get a South African license. And they were American. And they were American. Okay. We hadn't heard that. Nope. No. We didn't it's experience that. Okay. So you may want to ask when you get to the dealership Correct. if that's what you know if that's a requirement. But yep. for us. It, it did not happen for us. Likewise. We didn't have to do that. Likewise. So. Oh no, this is good. This is fun. Yes. Now, what you did say. <laughs> 
and Grace Lee, but I want to jump back on because it was something that we haven't had to express or excuse me experience, but you all purchased furniture. Yes. yes. How was that process? That was very interesting. I mean, you know, why not? The main reason why it was interesting is okay. because when we originally got here, we were thinking of a house mindset. So furnishing and how we want to look in our house. Yes, sir. And the one that we thought we were going to be getting. Okay. So we per purchased furniture for the house we were supposed to be getting. Oh. The so Friday, one of the Friday. Yeah, one of yeah, the, the Friday. Friday one of the Friday. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. we, oh. we, get, we were told we were going to have some money, oh. so, you know, I'm waking up, let's go furniture shopping so we can move in with our furniture. Of course. It doesn't happen that way. No, because that was okay. a Thursday before the Friday. Yes. Okay. So okay. you all have purchased furniture yes. for a home. Yes. Yes. Now we did go back to the. Um, let me ask this, my bad, because in purchasing the furniture, was it going to be shipped or were you all required to come and pick it up? It was no, going to be do. delivered. Be delivered to the address yes. of yes. one of the homes. Yes. yes. All <laughs> right. So we're here. Yes. Okay. So then we went back, once we found out that that home fell through and we got the other home. Yes. We went back to the furniture store and said, hey, we need to change things, change the address. And this piece of furniture won't work, but we'll get this piece of furniture. Okay. So they were gracious. They work. Us. Great. Okay, good. good. They work with us they good. Were with us very well. And then when well. the second home fell through. <laughs> yeah, then the second home fell through. And y'all went back to the front. Oh, of stones. course. Okay. Back yes. To the How are they at this point? Because I get, I get one change. Oh my but gosh. But now there's two changes. They, oh. they were awesome. Oh. Okay. Again. They were awesome. Again. Shouts out to the people of Dover. Yes, they were awesome. South Africa as a whole. They, everybody greeted us and what do you guys need? Yes. That was the second time. Okay. Because you know we had three, right? Of we course. Uh -huh. So we got to go back because we got a second home. No, we can't get this. So okay. that's not going to match. Yes. So now we got to do three. So we wow. went back a third time to the same furniture store. Okay. And by the time the third store, everyone knew us at the store. Yes. They were great. They welcomed us. You guys want something to eat or drink or anything? I wow. mean, it was just, it was amazing. Yes. Um, and we ended up getting our furniture. Okay. Done, done deal, easy. We, easy. They come to deliver the furniture. To your place that to actually our place went through. That went through. Yes. We, we're, we're ready for move-in day. Yes. Furniture, you know, we're a couple of days behind now because, okay. okay, we have to change it a couple of days. Do not let your furniture delivery person deliver with a, what size truck was that? Large truck. A very, very large For truck. For where we were living, um, the capacity, you couldn't use more than a four ton truck. And they showed up with an eight ton truck with all the furniture for all the deliveries. Ours was just one of them in there. Okay. Because you can't cut and turn around our place. Okay. So now we gotta wait. Done. So I called them. Um, so call wait a minute. <laughs> so now we gotta wait for our furniture. Oh, so yeah. they moved the furniture, yeah. our furniture, they unpacked it from the back of the eight ton, yeah. put it on to a four ton, and then the they same had to day. Wait. The same day. The same well, day they this was did. About five fifteen. They did not finish delivering our furniture and they worked so hard wow. until about ten o'clock that night. Yes. yes. They and they were they closed at five. They changed trucks, yes. everything, and they closed at five. Those, and it was Friday night. Wow. And I was like, I am so sorry. And they was like, no, they put the furniture, they did everything. It was set up before they would leave. Yeah. Every piece of trash was taken out with them. Wow. They swept up behind themselves yeah. and they moved themselves out. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Wow. So that was a beautiful experience. Well, yes. After the hiccup. After the couple hiccups, right. the guys were amazing. Wow. Those, Two guys delivered. It was, yes. Okay. Yes. They, did, they had to yeah. move the trucks yes. and all of that just in, just, it was a, it was a lot for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of you course. Know, yes. But they made it happen. And yeah. they did it. Okay. They did they get did a little well. confused with all the changes. There was more furniture on there than what we were supposed to be getting. Okay. But, so we just had them send that back. Okay. And there was another piece we wanted to get that we didn't get. They took that back to the warehouse. Okay. And they gave us credit for it. Yeah, they oh, they nice. went off. So nice. they were awesome. So they, nice. they did very good. So good furniture store. Yes. Great you furniture store. I mean, you can shout them out. I'm open if you want to. UFO okay. furniture. There it is. Has been amazing. There it is. And Shots our guy is Dave. There it he is. Was great. So, so yes. <laughs> and going to UFO, make sure you go yes, to Dave, Dave. and yep. Marlboro UFO. Yep. Yes. There it is. And tell them the Dave the Moore sent you. Yes. Okay, go to yes Dave, they know us. And the Moore sent you. They definitely know the Moore. The three time Moore. The three time. Okay. And they're yes. going to laugh and y'all going to be treated the same way they were treated. Absolutely. But well, that's a beautiful thing, right? Because it's something to move over to a whole nother country, a whole nother continent, yes. and nothing like furniture to feel at home. Yes. Right? To feel comfortable. Yes. And are you able to sit down? 
down. Now you're able to stretch out. Yes. You're not in the hotel room anymore, oh my gosh. right? You're Yo. not changing multiple yes. times, three times, right? But now you're in a space, you're in a place. And so and you can finally cook after seven weeks. Come on, talk about it. We See, that's something I don't think about, but yes. Yes, we ate out for seven weeks straight. Hmm. Now, what was your go-to restaurant? Let me ask you that. Because we do a lot of food talking on our channel. You can tell my name. Fire Room. That's your spot? That's my sister. Huh, so much so. We went on the weekend <laughs> that just passed, and they knew her. You know what I'm saying? They came to the table. Hey, y'all. <laughs> almost woke back. You know? <laughs> she would bring your regular. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but that was y'all's spot. That was our spot. Okay. Yeah, but for seven weeks, because in the hotel, they don't have the cooking Correct. like what we were used to. Yes. So we ended up, and to tell you, you know, eating out, that's a lot. But we lost weight. Yes. Eating out. For seven weeks, and we it lost weight. That's not that talks what takes about. Place. Oh, no, no. In the we no. In the you eat out every day for seven weeks. Yes, we had to eat out every day for you seven weeks. You were getting weight, weight, weight. Yes, but y'all lost. We weight. lost, lost weight. weight, but ate good Both at the same time. We ate very well. Yes, very well. And that's something about the food yeah. here yes. and the experience with food. Yes, you eat really. We eat one meal and we are we good for the yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, right, right. We were good for the day. We went to eat every day about four, four thirty, okay. and we were good. Yeah. Yeah. Until the next day at 4 4. I mean, we fast. It was just because that was just what was convenient for yes. us. We learned a whole new way of eating. Come on. We learned a lot. Yes. I'm okay. telling you, teaching. And that's a so. nugget that we got from Rick and some others. That eating mm. out is not that expensive like you may think it would be. No. no. Sometimes it's cheaper than eating at home. It that's is. true. Yes. Because factor in buying all yes. the ingredients, cooking it, because yes. you're using power. That's oh time my gosh. as well. Yes. And y'all show washing dishes. Like, yes. all the things that you don't think about yeah. and are a part very of Very nice restaurants for yes. half of what we would have eaten Come on. at home. Yes. Yes. Half of what we would have eaten at yes. home. Okay. We, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yes. fire room is y'all spot. That's yes. Spot. Now let me ask y'all that since we're even there. What's your? Well, I mean, man, I don't even know if I can ask y'all this, but like, what's the spot in Joburg that feels like home? Oh, that was. As far as a restaurant, as or far as just the area. So oh. there's like Rosebank, Waterfall, Santan, like Waterfall. Waterfall is your area. Waterfall. Okay. okay. Yes. Which then brought y'all to Mall of Africa. As well. yes. yes. Okay. So that's y'all go to. That mall. that's our yes. that's our home. That's your playground. Yes, but we did come to Four Ways. With okay. You, okay. Okay. You guys and yes. we found ourselves back at that mall. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, he likes that mall because there's a lot of men clothing stores yes. in okay. that mall. Okay. So he was able to find a lot. Oh, a, yeah, yeah, a yeah. lot. Yeah. 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 Two or three outfits. No, no, no. Huh. He found a lot. Huh. Look at him. Rick is more See? than two or three. Okay. Oh, I mean, who's counting though? Who's counting? Who's no. counting? Yeah, guys. We're enjoying ourselves. Guys, isn't that something? We're getting comfortable. You've been through a lot. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Why not get three? Yeah. Because y'all do threes. Okay. So just keep going in threes. <laughs> okay. Don't buy one at a time. Buy three at a time. <laughs> at the same time. Because, you know, if you hang around me, Rosebank, y'all go go Rosebank. Yes. You go see yes. Rosebank. They, they know you where you experience Rosebank. Because, I mean, there's so much you can do it there. Is. And, you know, from adults, right? Yes. yes. You yes. all are just here yourselves. Yes. But even with kids, for us, there's so many things yes. that even the kids can do to entertain themselves and whatnot. So, you know, any other situations or scenarios or stories that you all have had that you're thinking, okay, let me make sure it's shared so that somebody else won't come into contact with those, I think. Those I were think the we ones got that, yeah, that, that was it. Yeah, those were those the, are the ones that I remember. Yes. Uh, yes. From our conversations yes. that were shared. And so, boom, now we have those nuggets. Yes. And so, even to get to the why, which you kind of, you know, tease the why behind <laughs> the move. However, if somebody asks you, you know, well, ask, I don't know, before you moved, did you share with people why you were going to move or were the why you going to Africa part of the conversations or questions? Yes. Like, what was that like oh. sharing with family and friends? Hey, we are about to move to South Africa. Um, so for, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I like uh, that. Yes. I, I know that marriage talk. That, talking <laughs> without even talking. Yes. It's the looks, the size. Definitely. The nods, the smiles. Definitely. A lot um, of words were just shit. It, 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 it really was. Because, like, who's going to go first? Where, where do we say? start? Mm -hmm. so exactly. So, mm -hmm. um, first of all, the, it, the word came to me that I had started studying, not even studying, just watching different movies and stuff. Okay. Um, on YouTube and on Netflix. Mm. African movies, nothing. I've always wanted to come to Africa okay. because I knew it was something more to Africa than what we were taught. I Beautiful. knew it was something more, and in my spirit, I knew I needed to get here. Wow. 
But we were coming for my 50th birthday, which turned into 51. Okay, okay. so we came for my birthday. The first time? The first time Okay. we came. And um, God said, the reason why you're so interested in it is because I have work for you to do out there. Yeah. And you all visited Johannesburg and for your birthday. No, we were going. We, we didn't come. We came from May. Okay, okay. He said that. Wow, yeah. wow. We came home and we sold it. Wow. So... The the to piggyback off of how did everyone react? Um, it wasn't it wasn't the best reaction. Of ever. course. Okay. There's emotions, feelings, a thoughts, lot. concerns. A lot. Selfishness. Oh, I'm sorry, I put that out there too soon. <laughs> but it's true because good people attract other people and the other people want the good people to stay. And so I get it, right? I get it. And, and, and let me take that back. Not necessarily selfishness, mm -hmm. but there's people where you are, your family mm -hmm. and your extended family that yeah. grows attached to you. Of course. And a lot of people don't want you to leave. Not that they're being selfish, but they're, they you're part you. of their comfort. Yes. Correct. They love part you. of their comfort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And when you take that, when we leave, it's like taking away part of somebody's comfort. Of course. And we understand that. Too. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it. And I, and I, and thank you. I will say thank you for even cleaning up or changing the wording of selfish, but there is that, yes. right? But I get it, right? Yes. Because we came in contact with that as well. Yes. Good people, yes. selfish moment because of the points that you shared. Yes. And I get it, right? Because even being around y'all, I could tell y'all them type people <laughs> that people want to be around, enjoy themselves around, and are a pillar to the community. And so there's that. However, what you did say is that God shared with you that this is where you should be, yes. where you should move, which is similar to our story as well. God shared with us to move to Johannesburg, South Africa, mm -hmm. in which we weren't even thinking about the continent, right? Um, we had visited, had you all visited the no. continent before? So never Not been before. on the no. continent before. Uh, we had on mission trips to Kenya. And so we had been there and I've been to Port Elizabeth once, but to move? Yes, no. to move. Okay. Yes. I hear you, God. Yes. Are you I hear sure? You. Okay, there we okay, go. So there you go. got this. Are you sure, God? Yeah. Because there's so much that what can what can we do? Okay. And, you know, it's just us two. What can yes. we do, God, that someone else isn't doing? That okay. but that becomes your story. But when you're at home and you're thinking, I have to get you know leave family. You're thinking mm -hmm. that way, okay? But but God has a way of making that better for yes, you as yes. well. Just have faith if, yeah. if that's your calling to go. We were terrified. Mm -hmm. But then after the point we got it, okay, so we keep hearing this, we gotta go, we gotta go. Then it's now, let's let's get it. <laughs> we came out here, let's get it. Yes. And um, I can be honest with you, I didn't come out here with, oh, it's the prettiest place I've been. Yes. I'm so excited to move. I can't wait to go back. I'm, I've heard that from a lot of people. Yes. They get here like, I know I don't wanna go back. Okay. I can't say that was the story for me. Yes. I have to be honest about the calling that I have. Yes. No, it wasn't. No, I have a twin brother mm -hmm. and we're five minutes apart and that is everything. Okay. You know, my okay. family, my kids, you know, yes. we had our kids and our yes. family and grandkids. grandson Grandsons. and I yeah. mean, yeah. Yeah. he yeah. was right around the corner. Yes. So it was just, we really, friends, I mean, we, like I said, community, mm -hmm. but God's first. Okay. Yes. If God tell us to do it, we have no, there will be no question. Mm -mm. We're doing it. It's mm -hmm. When I told him I heard from God, my husband didn't come to me and said, what? You didn't hear? He was like, okay, we prayed about it. He said, okay, we need to, we wow. need to, we need to do it. Wow. He put his retirement papers in wow. right then and there. Wow. His, his paper from his, a second time. Yes. Said, we're going. And so no one really thought we were coming. No okay. one thought we, we didn't hear the calling, of course, that of course. God didn't tell no, you no, to no, do no, that. No, 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 not to move there. Why, now God, why would God tell you to do that? Okay. To leave everything and everybody. Yeah. But being here and going through what we're going through, we're starting to see why. Okay. We were saying. Okay. Okay. And we're getting peace on that. Yes. It's just yes. bringing everything together, but God is showing us bit by bit day by day why we're supposed to be here. Mm. And I'm so thankful to be one in that number mm. that he called to come here. Mm. So when our family do come behind us and our kids and the people that are coming, we're trailblazers already. Mm. So think about that people. Mm. You're trailblazers in your family if you do something different.
Wow. Don't get discouraged, even by your Don't. own family. Yeah. Don't we told people God called us to come over here. Yeah. I was talking to some of my family. It's also a ministry, and they're like, well, "What are you going to be doing? Um, you going to be missionary works? Mm -hmm. Are you going to um, help them farm and stuff?" I had one of my cousins that asked me, "Am I going to go over there to help teach them how to farm?" Wow. So what I did was I sent him a picture of outside our hotel we were staying at. <laughs> there was a Lamborghini. <laughs> And a Jaguar. Yes. I took a picture of both of those. Yes. I sent it back to him and I said, which one do you think I should drive? Huh. Yes. Huh. Yes. Huh. And no, that's, that's a good. misconception. Yes. Correct. That's a misconception, that's a misconception. Correct. that Correct. we have. In the and States. It, it really is. Africa yes. all flies. It really is. Correct. Oh, Correct. yes. I, I love what you're even saying because it shows the perception that is in the states of what's taking place in Africa, which I believe, you know, Africa as a whole, yes. but specifically we're in South Africa. Yes. yes. But I think that's another hurdle that we often find ourselves sharing with our family, our yes. friends, our yes. loved ones that come in contact with those like us to say yes. we're going to make the move. And so once you sent the Jaguar, you sent the Lamborghini, what was the response? Let me just know that. Oh, he was just like, oh. Okay. Okay. You know, I didn't expect that. Okay. Okay. And, and then you get the I see why now. Okay. So it's still not the reason, but yes. some people were like, "Oh, we're showing you know, look at this comforts. or that." You show yes, comforts. comforts. Oh, I I see now. Okay. You know, like okay. Mm, still wasn't the calling, but no. I see why. No, I see why you're okay. I see why you're okay, and I mm. see why. But no, understand. <laughs> another thing we need to understand is. They don't need us to come and save them. <laughs> come on, come on. That's another part. They do not need us. That's the truth. To 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 do anything for them. They are legit. They have everything. They They're are. correct. Yep. They are okay. So please don't get the mindset or the concept here in South Africa that you're coming to save the flies right. and, and right. the people on your better face than because than you're better you know, than or you're American. And you, yeah, oh yes, yeah, so we that. have it better. Please yeah. leave that Let at that the, fly away because as you fly over. Yes, because uh, mm. there's a they're living better. They Come dress on. better. Come they're on. they're sure. just and Come and on. oh my gosh, I just like they're so ahead of things yes. as far as even just just the no, I agree. Because even to your point, right? Dressing yes. better, fly like oh, I told Chris, fly. I got stuff. I came up. Yes, you know, you know what I'm saying. I thought I was okay. Yes, I no. thought I had a swag, but no. no when we no. went to the malls. There's a Ma Amani, Gucci, yes, everything, Versace. Come on, I'm like, and guess lot. who's in there? Not us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> And they live here, I mean, right. you know, right. and they're able to purchase. So let's let them, it's the yes. exception is awful. Yes, yes, yes. And what's been shared as opposed to what's actually taking place sometimes are two different things. Yes. But, you know, thank goodness for YouTube and other social yeah. media yes. platforms yeah. Yeah. that gives us the opportunity to share. Yes. Right. Yes. And to document and to show people like what's really going on. But even to get to your point, as we share that commonality of faith yes. being the driving force behind us, right, making the move and hearing from God to yes. make the move yes. and as we share with others, no, that's not God that is right. sharing you, right? But yet hearing that, you have to continue to push on. You do. Right? You can't allow for the naysayers to determine what no. you heard, yes. but you have to be true and rooted yes. in what you heard. And even to a point that you said previously in our conversation of writing things down, yes. which I'm a writer. Like yes. I definitely document, I definitely write, and I even to a point that you made as well, which, you know, again, you talk to people, <laughs> Sometimes, for the first time in some cases, but you talk to me, it's like, man, you're in line with so many things yes. without even recognizing. Yes. But I, as well, have a journal that I've uh, yes. titled a legacy journal with the idea of okay. writing things down. Yes. Things that I believe, things that I pray for, answers that I've received, <laughs> so that the kids one day yes. will be able to be able to read it in. Are dated as well, That's right. so they can see. Oh, okay, on that day, and they can not yes. only recall the conversations or what I was at in that moment, Absolutely. but they can relive it because they lived it. Yeah, right. They were here for most of it, but so good, right? Yes. I definitely, as we bring out the nuggets, I definitely want to make sure we all catch that right, right. things it's down yes. for your reminder, yes. for your comfort, for your, for your yes. perseverance, yes. because as you're unpacking that patience, yes. you may have to recall what was said, yes. uh, what was prayed What's for, your and yes. how you're now writing, boom, walking in your prayers, you're walking yes. in your answer prayers, and so even with purpose, you said it. 
right? I don't know if you want to tap into it (laughs) in this conversation, right? Because we all, as we come into the contact and awareness of, have a purpose for our lives, right? We're not just here to enjoy this air, right? Buy whatever we want to buy, do whatever it is we want to do, but we have a purpose. And um, as you've been praying, hearing and receiving, is there purpose that you want to share you know right now of you all's being here yes okay yes there is um so going through hearing our story and what we've all what we've been through Mm -hmm. in the midst of all of that our purpose we're hearing is to be a landing a soft landing for other people to come wow in the midst of that he's shown us where when we got here, if you, we're not Facebook Facebook people, yes. we're not, you know, social media, social media yeah. people. Yes. We watch YouTube, but that's about it. Yeah. So in order to meet people here, you really have to be on social media. You mm-hmm. have to. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, other Americans is what I'm trying to say yes. to come. You have to do that. And we 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 reached out to a couple, but they're so busy because there's mm. thousands of people reaching out. Mm. But long story short, God has told me us we've been praying for and how to do this and if there's anyone out there who's interested in helping Mm. this this vision that god has given me Mm. it is for people to get here and have a soft landing yeah and so there's a building that god has shown me that i haven't seen the vision i've seen the vision but i haven't seen the building yet of where yes in Mm -hmm. the physical of where he wants it but he wants us to come out here because there's so many more americans that are coming this way and other from other from other countries yep. and there's no one to talk to there's no one to speak to about the realtor there's no one to know about what bank accounts how to do that yeah. there is no one that can explain to you about purchasing a car there is no one you have little bits but we are working on a center yay we're working <laughs> on a center <laughs> for people to have that landing. So when you get here and you have 18 pair um, pieces of luggage mm-hmm. and you have no way to transport that, we're mm-hmm. working on a transportation company mm-hmm. to, to help us with that. Mm-hmm. We're working on a um, just a center for that phone call at three o'clock. We're sleeping, you're awake, but we wanna help you so we will wake up mm-hmm. at three o'clock in the morning. We would love to have a 24 hour service yeah. so you can call in and say, hey, I'm thinking about this. Can you help me with that? And we just want to have that landing for family when you get here yeah. you can reach out and touch mm-hmm. one of us or someone to say hey i'm stuck i don't know who to call i don't even know where to begin because we did not know where to begin mm-hmm. and we just want to make your landing softer mm-hmm. so we're working as a team mm-hmm. to get it together so when you do come you will be able to have a sign that's going to say welcome home mm-hmm. and we will be out there screaming and yelling embarrassing you in the airport <laughs> But you will have a family to come to yeah. and um, anything you need, we will be there. We will help you. We will we will teach you. We will welcome you. We will love you and you will have a family. Yeah. And that's the center that God has called us to do that we're working on. There it is. See, y'all yes. heard how excited she was. Yes, I'm excited. It's something about purpose. It's something about yes, it but it's something about direction and hearing why you are in a space or a place in time. And you heard it. You heard the passion that came from her. And even as we were talking on a live, I think it was the last live we did on Friday, this past Friday, how we were saying for people that are moving, because it was other people from Texas yes. that said they were moving over Chicago and yeah. so forth and so on. I was like, y'all, email me because we have something brewing. Yes. We have something coming up. Huh, you heard. <laughs> you heard what I was talking about. But, um, but then as well, we even talked with, you know, Kaia. Yes. We'll relocate with Kaia because that's something that she's passionate about as well. And we're going to synergize. We're going to put yes. our energies, our thoughts, our minds together our to time. create something great. Because what yes. they went through is not something that they desire for others to have to go through and stumble upon to find the light at the end of the tunnel. And so at the end of the day, the center is coming and yes. we ain't here to play. We're here to stay. That's right. And then yes. it's going to be great because yes. I can see the need, right? The need is there because 
as you all did, we did as well in the sense of watching various YouTube channels. Yes. yes. We find our little bit over there. Yes. We find our little bit over here and we try to piece together yes. a package of comfort for the move, but at the same time, knowing that this center is going to be here. The center is coming. The center is here. The center is here. The center is here because the people is here. The, we're right? here. We're here. We're so boots on the ground getting it together. Come yes, on we are. to make the landing soft. Yes. And I don't think there is any more comfort you could want, mm -hmm. right, than for a soft landing, landing right? Yeah. To know that once I've arrived, people are there to receive yes. and I'm guided through each and every step of the yes. way. And so, no, that's that's beautiful and that's great in so many ways and i know it's beneficial i know it's useful why because i was watching a kaia i was watching relocate with kaia's channel she was talking with the immigration service uh, provider and he was saying that there's ninety five thousand submissions in right now for uh, visas for people looking to move to south africa around the world 95,000 wow. applications Man. so why do I say that yes again there's a need but then as well to show and to share with my South African brothers and sisters how great your country actually is yes I read the comments I see what you all say yes. I see the complaints which I get I get right. you know low shedding is uncomfortable right government is uncomfortable government is uncomfortable everywhere yes at the end of the day yes right America, Canada, you go around the world, you will hear people complaining or having yes. uh, another side, another story to share about governance. Go ahead. Uh, one thing though I would like for you to under, well, we learned. Yes. Low shedding can be for a reason. Come on. Yes. Because we're so busy going, 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 doing, 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 doing. Do we take that time out for family? Family's big here. Yes. Family is big here, which family I love. Family is big here. Yep. So that maybe two hours of, of time where you you can't watch TV, you can't be in front of your computer, you can't, that's time to sit and spend t time with your family. Uh -huh. You know, that's time to learn, that's time to yep. talk and communicate yep. where we don't get that chance at home. We're rushing so much, doing everything fast, fast, fast. We have slowed down so much. Oh, yes. And so, please appreciate, yes, we understand what you're saying because you guys have been doing it for a long time, but we've learned to appreciate Correct. low shame. I agree, I agree. To your point of we were here, we as in myself and the kids, and Crystal, we were here. Low shedding took place. Yes. AC went out. Yes. It was hot outside that yes. day. We didn't stay in the house. We got out. Right. But prior to us getting out, we were on our laptops, our tablets, yes. doing our own thing. Right. right. In front of a screen, doing yes. our own thing. And But low shedding hit. We got out, but yeah. we got out together. Yes. We found something to do together. Yes. We enjoyed Johannesburg together. Yes. Correct. Yes. And to yes. your point, I do believe there's always beauty that you can find yes. in the midst of confusion, frustration, so we see the beauty or trials. It. Correct. Yes. We do. We do. <laughs> and I think we do because we them type people. Yes. Right? Yeah. We yeah. know that there's always a beautiful yes. side of anything, anything that you find yourself yes. in. Right? We've learned to be content yes. and we learn to find a way and to persevere. But that's faith. Yes. Right? That's hey, faith. Paul. Nothing like Say it. Say it again. That's okay, Paul. Oh, no, no, hey, that's faith. That's Come faith. On, no matter what. That's right. But even even to your point, you was you was in the Old Testament with Abraham, right? <laughs> yeah. But I'm gonna pull it back to this point because you know, so you got a little happy. But I said, hold on. But you said as well. God said to you, it's gonna be like Abraham, right? Go to the land that I'll show you. Yes. And I bring that back up because that was. Uh, a quote that God shared with Crystal about our move here. It'd be like Abraham, go where mm -hmm. yes. we tell you to go yes. and where I land you or where I place you, you will yes. prosper, you will succeed, yes. you will see my hand on. Yes. And so I'm excited with that. Right? Oh I'm excited about that. Because nothing but his hand. Yes. Yes. And to your point, as we continue to develop and meet and greet and speak yes. to people, you start to see people coming, right? Yes. The Joneses, yes. the Moors yes. and others, yes. we start to see them coming about and it's like, okay, God, you I see what you're something. saying. Right. Yes. I see. I see. Yes. I can see you in yes. them. Right. I can hear yes. you in them. Yes. The and same stories, the yes. same. Yep. We walk in the same. Correct. Yeah. Correct. So even with that, how would you speak to those back in the States specifically, right? Those back in the States that may feel the push, pull, or the guiding to move 
right? And I'm not even gonna put it specific to South Africa, but right. you can if you want, but to move. to move in general. But yet they're hesitant, they're delaying, they're wondering, they've heard the no, that's not God. Yes. The no, don't do that, we yes. want you here. How would you speak to them to help them to overcome that moment in time? Because we all may find ourselves there, but how do you help them to push beyond? Well, I know what I would say. Go ahead. Um, every time I think about it, it reminds me back when I was in the military. Yeah. Uh, hadn't gone on a deployment yet, trying to avoid deployments. Mm -hmm. And I was listening to a chaplain one day, and a chaplain told the group that the battlefield can be the safest place for you. Wow. And I'm looking around and said, what? <laughs> he said, the battlefield can be the safest place for you if you are in the center of God's will. So it's like, it doesn't matter what you're doing. If God is calling you to go, and you know you're getting that urge, that notion to go, go. Mm. South Africa, EU, wherever. Because mm. wherever he's sending you, he's got that safe landing for you. Wow. It That's won't, beautiful. For me to piggyback off of that, I feel as though if God is nudging, there's a reason. Yeah. There's something he has for you to do. Yeah. Your work where you are is done. He's going to grow you. Mm. Your, your growth is not done. Mm. You're not done growing. Yeah. Allow God to move you so he can grow you to where he wants you to be. Mm. That was given in our mother's womb. Wow. What our purpose is. Yeah. And what and to reach your purpose is nothing like it's hard. Yes. It has been hard. That's good. But to reach your purpose, you know, I was listening to a pastor saying today that um we're we're going we're we're going so much and we're doing so much and, and we're not happy. Okay. We're not happy. We're not, okay. you know, Things were happening to us. I was hurting. I was aching. It was just a lot. Every day it was something different wrong with me, I felt. Okay, okay. I haven't felt one pain since I've been here. Wow. Because now I'm purpose driven. Yep. And I'm on fire. Yep. Yes. And I mean, nothing's going to hold me back. Mm -hmm. So if you want this feeling that I have deep in my soul. Yeah. Hear what God says. Take the leap. Jump. Yep. And go. And I promise you, he will meet you. Mm. where you land. Mm. I promise you God will. Mm. I trust him to do anything he says he's going to do for you. So just try him. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. And to, to caveat on that, that leap, if that's a leap for the couples, leap as couples. Wow. Yes. Don't. Wow. She wants to go to Africa. I want to stay here. Yes. If God is calling one, he's calling the the, the couple, the yes. team, mm. the pair, because mm. we are one. We, we are. are one. And to your point, we are I hope one. I didn't break your thought process but it's beautiful and I say it's beautiful because in our family scenario it was me who heard God and your family scenario it was she who yes. heard God yes. but at the same time it was we who went yes right yes. and so no matter what side it comes from if it's hearing from God the two are one yes so we go, yes. We go. So that's a beautiful thing. We, we go. go. And that's we were on the thing. same page. Yeah. There was no back. I don't want to. It was like, I was like, days I was like, no. He was like, no, yes. <laughs> God said we're going. I'm yeah. like, you think it's going? We're going. Right. So, and you heard. Yeah. And right. I heard. So you became the motivation. Yes. I heard it. Yes. You know? Yes. So those days I got scared. Okay. Yep. 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 Which I'm is human. a part of it. I said, I'm going. It's a part of it. But with faith. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, people say faith, you know, you don't have to be. No, this was scary. Mm. We didn't know anybody. This yeah. was leaving everything that you know. But right. God does. Uh, yeah. yeah. Has, oh, my God. It's, has it's, been there. Yes, he has. Yeah. And I think even for me, like, personally, I was oblivious, right? I was right. just <laughs> through the process. Because people were like, man, it's a big move. And I was like, you know, yeah, you just doing what God said. But it wasn't until I arrived <laughs> that I recognized the greatness <laughs> yeah. of what really just took place. Well, I really just yes. did what the family God has given me. Yes. But I think it was God because if I had these these thoughts while I was here, then yes. it might have stopped. Yeah. You know, I'd have been like, no, God, like, yes. we'll visit, we'll do it another way. Yeah. But it was, I was blinded yes. to he how did. big it really was. Because I was trusting him and I was like, God, just take the way, right? And he and did. Some would say, Jesus, take the way. Yes. But just take the way. And it wasn't until. So, to your point, faith will do that for it you. Will. And the emotions, the thoughts may come, but at the same time, remind yourself with the why yes. of wow. God and how good God is and how, is how it's been written in the word of times when people acted out on faith yes. and did as God led and how oh it resulted for them. So, 
Now let's let's skew this right before we go and speak to our brothers and sisters of South Africa, right? Okay. Because you came here and I believe it was the third realtor that was of somebody of like faith. Yes. And so <laughs> even in the conversations and the contact with her, you all were able to pray over the space that you yes. all were in and then yes. walk into the doors of a place that you all now call home. Yes. But then you will welcome to their space and place for the holidays, yes. for yes. Christmas and things yes. like that. And so how would you speak to our South African brothers and sisters as it pertains to their faith and purpose and the reminder of God being with them as well? And them showing God within them, yes. as your realtor did for yes. you all. She did. Um, can I say her name? Yeah. Labona. Yes. <laughs> Labona. Come and on. what's her name? L love, Lux. Uh, Lux, love, love, Lux, 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 Yes, she live. has, she's, she, the first day she met us, she said, you're my sister. First day. First day. And to even say we've spent Christmas with them, we've even gone on holiday with them. That's it. You know, they've been that. But when I, we were going through so much, the thing, Labona, which was our third realtor, she told me, she said, I've been praying for you. We've been praying, praying, praying for you. She said, and I called my, my pastor mm. and I told him about you. And that's in another country. That's not even where oh, she, wow. that's not, that's not even here. That's not and here. she said, he told me to tell you guys to keep going don't give up that and he he said what our callings were okay. without even knowing okay and he said i want you guys she said david take sharice and i want you guys to go outside and walk around the building and pray she said and ask this land because <laughs> at one point we were like okay god she said ask this land to accept you wow i've never prayed that prayer before no, I've, I've never, never heard it i've never yes. heard that before she said, you're in a foreign land. So ask this land to accept you. Yes. And that next day, everything changed for us. Mm. And we went in the rain. It was raining. Mm. And we walked out in the rain and was getting soaking wet. But we was just praying that the land. And we already knew God sent us. But yes. maybe it was something else we didn't know we were supposed to do. Okay. And it wasn't teaching us anything wrong. Yes. Right. And right. we That's prayed that it, yeah. it was raining. And we did that. Mm. And um, if anybody knows David and our story, it's always about the rain. Okay. So when was we was pouring that. down wow. rain and we did the rain and we did it. And it was just amazing. So I would tell you guys, keep doing yes. what you're doing. That's good. Please keep doing what you're doing because you make it soft for us to land as well. Mm -hmm. um, keep praying. You know, you meet so many Christians you eat, or so many, you know, people, faith people. Yes. It's been amazing. Everywhere we go, you go to dinner and you see people, whole, whole table holding hands praying yes. for dinner and things that you don't, you know, you don't normally see. Correct. And family is so important here. Very true. So I just say, keep doing what you're doing and yeah. continue to put God first yeah. because it shows mm -hmm. yes. I have we, just peace here. Mm -hmm. Even when we got off the plane, coming through, mm -hmm. um, getting our passport stamped, probably we didn't walk maybe 200 feet and there was a lady that was talking to my wife and they were talking about um, their faith and religion wow. and what it means to them and each other and the connection that they created just right then. Mm -hmm. And we hadn't been in Africa Maybe an hour, Correct. maybe minutes. Correct. Minutes when we come off the plane. But showing your faith and reaching out to other Christians and connecting with that faith makes a big difference. Yes, yeah, it's a big difference. Because yeah. here they don't. I don't feel that it's where you're from. It's who you are. Wow. Yes. I feel like the the people here. It's mm. about who you are and what you believe. Yeah. Because everybody, you know, they will say, bless yes, you, yes, brother, yes. sister, bless you, you know. Yep. That's amazing. Yes. When you don't know who you're talking to, when you have a, they're having a bad day. Yeah. And you just look at them and say, bless you, my uh -huh. brother. God, that's God. Uh -huh. You know, and I feel God here. And I'm just, yeah. ah. Uh -huh. there I go again. Hey, I'm, that's all right. Y'all got it. Y'all got forward. something. Y'all right. got a gym here. Right. 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 Y'all got it, huh? Right. I like it. Correct. And I think that oftentimes, to speaking to my brothers of South Africa, they, brothers and sisters, they yes. don't know because it hasn't been experienced like anything else other than what's been here. Right. And so it's like, we say it. Yes. We share. It's been said. But again, I just want you all to know how beautiful you all are as yes. individuals, as people, and even as well to your point of faith. 
right, in the acceptance of other space because there's others as well. But yes. at the same time, we know and recognize when we come in contact with other believers, other like-minded individuals as us, and it's a beautiful thing. Yes. And so know that as we continue to come over, right? Yes. Because I don't believe that we're the only ones or the oh, last yes. ones to come, yeah. but as other believers come, know that there's a space and a place for you. Yes. To your point, know that you will feel God and experience yes. God in ways in which you may not have previously yes. right depending on where you were and know that there's something that is being orchestrated and done here that you will feel comfortable about yes. seeing yes. about being a part of right and even as that and thank you god but even as that yes. develops I also want to say that as we show you all what it is that we're doing, know that we'll give you ways that you can be a part of it, yes. right? Whether it's coming to visit or whether it's sewing into it. Yes. At the same time, I do want you to know it's going to be a beautiful thing, yes. right? Something that will start here. I honestly don't believe that it'll be something that ends here. It'll yes, be correct. something that continues to Different. take place in yes. other spaces and countries around the world. And yes. so... We talked about it here, yes. right? So as you know, the successors, I love documentaries, right? But right. the beautiful thing about documentaries is that you get to know the successful person, but then it walks you back to the story yes. of how it started. Yes. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you get to see the story. <laughs> That's right. It's, it's it's the conversations, right? It started right here before yes. you all, but then it started with them hearing from God and coming with that fire, coming with that purpose, coming yes. with the story and with the willingness, right, to be a vessel and through the different different things that they've experienced that they share with us today. We now know that we don't have to experience them, but then as well, we know, okay, these are things that we need to look yes. out for. These are yes. connects that we need to make sure yes. are made and um, people on the other end to receive, right? Yes. The Davids and the other yes. uh, realtors and whatnot. And if you want, um, I'm definitely open to even putting their contacts in the description if they're even up to it. it. So we if they're, hey, boom, their people yes. will be down below. Contact. Make Correct. sure. Yes. Because we want to help. Today. So let me ask you that. What are ways that people can contact you all? Because you did say you don't do social media. <laughs> We're the worst. We well, don't. so what are ways in which people can get in contact with you, even if it's to get prayer? Yeah. Right? Oh, yes. Or connects or yes. just have somebody here yes. that they can reach out to. What are ways that you all are availing yourselves? Okay. So first, we're on WhatsApp. If you have any questions, call me, text me prayers, whatever we can do, I really want to help you make the move. Yeah. Or just a question. I want to help. And for those that are here, we do have a South African number. Mm -hmm. I don't know it yet. That's it. That's okay. it. But, but it'll be down it. below. Yes, it will. It'll be down well, below in the description. It. And we'll make sure you have it. But as well, know that it's a beautiful thing, right? When people open up their time and give you the opportunity to share and to meet. So I say that to say, don't waste their time, right? Don't right. waste their time. They're here to share, but at the end of the, time, end of the day, don't waste their time because time is valuable. Yes, and we're and busy. I just want to make sure, right? We're yeah. all on the same page and make That's sure right. the what's necessary is being shared and um, whom they have the ability to reach and to connect with is those that reach out to them. So. Boom. Yes. I think we, we have the same page. We will have our American number, which is WhatsApp. We'll have our South African numbers and emails in the uh, description. description. Yes. description below. Yep. There it is. There it is, great people. So again, Moors, I love you all that much I more even you. after this conversation because <laughs> I found out some new things. Uh, and the list goes on. But at the same time, I also want to thank y'all for your time and for being here, thank right? You. Because thank believe you. it or not, they both said they don't do cameras and they didn't know about this situation. But I think they did good. I think they did great. Y'all let them know they did well in the comments down below. And uh, we'll continue to share and document the journey of what's to come. Right, you heard it said, but you'll also see it as well and yes. experience it. So know that. Everything that you see was once a word, and you yes. heard the word today. And so, until next time, great people, we love you all. We appreciate you yes. all. Peace. Bye. Thank you.